Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to work out what size lips and barrels you need for a specific ET on a wheel for a split rim build and just generally show you how to visualize offsets and wheel building as a whole. So the things you need is you need to have a calculator at the ready, like so, on your phone is absolutely fine and also you can access the internet on there which is going to be useful for conversions. You just need a straight edge, although this is a ruler, you don't actually need the ruler side, you just need a straight edge. And you need the center, which you are gonna be using to work out what size offset and what specific wheel you're actually gonna be building. So in this case, we've got a complementive turbo center. And last but not least, you just need a piece of paper and a pen to write with. So right here, what we've got going down is a, this, we've got three lines. This line represents the center of the wheel. This line represents the front. This line represents the rear, the rear of the wheel. So basically, obviously, you have a wheel here, and if you imagine there's a dish on there and a barrel. You basically got the front, center, and the rear. Now, the center represents the dead center of the wheel itself. So not where the hub would mount, but this represents, if you were to have a zero ET, this is what this represents, hence the zero. So you've got front, rear, zero. Three lines, the most important lines that we're going to be writing down today. Oh, hello. Right, okay. From this point, what you need to do is you need to, I'm guessing you have in mind already what offset that you want to achieve. In this case, let's say 35. So ET, by the way, means offset. So an ET35, and then overall you need to know what size in inches, we can convert that to millimeters later on, in inches, what size you need to do the wheel as a whole, what size you need to build it to. So in this case, we're gonna do a 10 inch wide wheel. Convert that to millimeters. I know what that is already, because I worked it out earlier. That is 254 millimeters. So you got 254 millimeters. That is that distance from there to there. Get your straight edge and draw that out to help you visualize it. And then what you need to do is you need to divide the 254 by two. So then you can work out exactly what's going on. So as a whole, you've got 254 divided by two. So you can get the exact measurement either side is 127. So we've got 127 millimeters either side, and then you've got zero right in the middle. That represents the center, as we said earlier. If you want to achieve a 35 mil offset, in this case, that's what we want to go for, is just draw a line, just to help you visualize it. Let's just say it's exactly there. You don't need to get the measurements around here. That literally will make no difference at all. So 35 mil is that measurement from there to there. So there we have the offset of the wheel. If we were quite literally just visualizing that, we have the, the hub where the hub would be like so. And then basically from there, you've got measuring that way and then that way. And then you've got a 35 mil wheel. That's quite literally where the hub would be in relativity to the center of the wheel. Now, we need to work out, however, what size barrels and what size dishes we need. So in this case, to make things a little bit easier to visualize, I'm gonna draw up a split rim center. That is the worst drawing ever of a complimentary turbo center, but there we go. And it wouldn't even be blown there. I don't even know why I did that, but there we go. So what we need to do is we need to measure the distance from there to there. Basically the distance from the mounting flange to the hub flange. And the way that you do that, plonk it on a flat surface, get your ruler out and measure. So we've got 30 mil just there. So that is the distance from there to there basically that one to that one, which is 30 mil. Now you need to work out whether you are gonna go for a sandwich mount, which means you need to take that measurement into consideration, whether you're gonna go for a face mount, which is when you only need to measure from there to there, or whether you're gonna be going from a rear mount, which is gonna be there to there. Now, this case, we're doing a sandwich mount, so you take that measurement into consideration. Measure up the width across there, which is that one, which works out to be, in this case, 15 millimeters. It's gonna be around that for most wheels. 
And then what you need to do is to work out what barrel size, you need to add 127, which is right to the center, plus 35, plus 30, so all the measurements that size. Now that overall works out to be 192. So we'll just get our straight edge out to show us exactly what's going down here. So you've got, measure from there to there, 192. 192 in inches, because I worked this out earlier, I know what it is, 192 millimeters equals around 7.5 inches. Now what we need to do just to work out the dish size, which we need to work out what basically the measurement is from there to there, is the easiest way to work out is add 192 to the width of that, so it takes that into consideration, which, which works out to be 207 overall. So if we just go this side, because we've got a little more room this side. So the distance from there to flip there is 207. 254 minus 207, so, 200, so 254 is the width of the whole thing, minus that width is gonna leave us with what that measurement is. That, because I know what it is, because I worked it out earlier, is 47 millimeters. And in inches, that equals to be just, as well, it has to be about 1.8 inches, um, but we, because we're working in dishes and barrels, you can only do 0.5 increments. So in this case, it's what we round it up to about two inches. So from this, we now know we need a 7.5 inch barrel, which is that distance there, and then a two inch lip, which is that distance there. And then with this particular measurements we have, we know we're gonna have a 35 mil offset with that. Now, just to recap over exactly what we've talked about is the way we've done that is we first drew the 35 mil uh, offset. That showed us where the center was gonna be in relativity to the wheel. We then add, uh, we're sorry, we work out the 30 millimeters just there, which then gives us the uh, measurement between the hub and the mounting flange on the center. And then once this, we've got this, we add all that together, and that gives us the measurement for the barrel. And the way that we just work out the whip lip size is we add the barrel width to the uh, flange of the center. And then once we've got that, we minus that from the overall width of the wheel, and that gives us the remainder, which is basically 47 millimeters. And then we've got two inches just there. And that is the size of the dish that we need for this particular wheel build. Now this works every single time. Hopefully it's explained well enough for you guys to uh, understand it. Let me know if you've got any questions at all. I'm more than happy to answer them in the comments. But overall, this will help you work out with a specific ET that you are given to work out what size barrel and what size dish that you need and hopefully this has just made it a bit more clear to visualize it and it's just a really accurate way of getting exactly what you're gonna end up building a wheel to hope that helps and catch you guys soon